Hey guys, it's Heather. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be tackling the playroom. It is long overdue. So I'm starting out by just getting a garbage bag and a storage container so that I can go ahead and quickly just get rid of items that no longer need to be in the playroom and then go ahead and put some toys in to the donation. All of the Play-Doh in little bags and in boxes kind of just all jumbled together. So I decided to put them in little storage bins to make things more accessible. And I like to place labels on bins like this so then next time I'm not like reinventing the wheel, figuring out how to organize and where things go. Now I'm moving on to what I think is the trickiest part of organizing the playroom and it is the tiny little dolls and the tiny little toys. So I am just doing my best to sort through them all. My daughter got this little storage container for her LOL dolls for Christmas. It is super cute. I grabbed a little bit of a larger bin to put her Disney princess dolls in and like little dolls in and they seem to fit really nicely.
So I'm finally in the home stretch. Now everything that I put into the center of the room is stuff that I'm gonna be donating or stuff that's kind of miscellaneous and I haven't found a home for. And I'm just gonna finish up organizing by sorting the remaining items and doing my best to put them into little bins or into other bins that I had already made. So I organized all of the baby books and puzzles that are downstairs in the playroom and I just put them together in the bin. So now that I'm finally finished organizing, I am just going to dust and vacuum and then I will show you the final result. Okay, so I'm finally finished. I am losing daylight here, so I quickly want to show you how everything came out and give you a quick tour. Okay, so it is definitely looking much, much better. I got everything organized and I found designated spots for most of the items. I ended up putting her little cleaning accessories over here in the corner. And if you're wondering, these curtains I picked up from Target and the throw pillows, all these throw pillows I got from Home Goods, and then the rug I got from Wayfair, I think, or Overstock. Um, if I can still find it, I will link it down below. So over here, I just have her little Doc McStuffins, and then I think the closet came out as good as I'm gonna get it for right now. So I got the little basketball hoop, her tent, some other little things. Up top I have her balls for her ball pit and then I moved her one princess castle up there. I have her like Lego blocks. I got all of the Play-Doh in these little containers and labeled them and then I put like her dolls and then her LOL stuff up here as well. And then these little baskets I picked up from Target. They're super cute. I want to get the bigger one that they have or maybe get a couple more but this is everything for her babies and her American Girl doll. And then pretty much everything in here is her Doc McStuffins accessories and then I just have the little Hatchimals and then I had a bunch of baby puzzles and books that I used to store in the cubes but I wanted to give some more space for out there so I ended up just putting them in this container and labeling it. So that's everything in there. So I still have her stuffed animals and dolls and things in here. I just did give a couple away and donated them. There were just way too many. So in this bin, I put like all of the toys and like the miscellaneous little things that I couldn't find a bin for anything else. In this bin, everything is baby toys. I also labeled each one just so that it makes it easier to remember what goes where. And then you can always like take off the labels as you need the bins for different things. And here it's everything for Mr. Potato Head. And this one, it's everything for like her food and her tea party, picnic, that kind of thing. I got a bin for stuffed animals and it started to overflow so I needed to donate a few. So I just kept her favorites. And then I have all of her puzzles and I'll be putting some books in this one as well. This one is all like coloring and arts and crafts. 
And then lastly, this one is like the sports, like balls and like activities, that kind of thing. And then we just have the LOL dollhouse. This is awesome. My mother-in-law actually had this made to store like all of her little LOL doll accessories. So I just kind of split everything up by category as best as I could. This is really good because a lot of these toys, they come with tiny, tiny pieces. And as any of you know that buy these LOL dolls, they're really expensive and they're kind of silly at this point, but this just keeps everything really nice and organized. Okay, so that's gonna wrap up today's video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Hit the like button if you like this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.